Alright, here's a follow-up video. So we're going to slide this. So now, oops, let's get out of that. So now let's go into Cydia. This is going to pretty much show you how to use SP settings. It's going to pretty much show you how to use Winterboard. So let's install Winterboard. Confirm it. Click Reboot Device. And this is on my iPhone 4. So now once my phone comes back here, it'll say no SIM card because I don't have my SIM card in it. Okay. So now, there's Winterboard. Now, to use Winterboard, select your theme, whatever theme you might have downloaded or paid for through Cydia, it will show up in here. So let's say this is a theme. You check this. If you have a weather widget of some sort that gets put into Winterboard as well, let's say this one's the weather widget. It's not, obviously. But now if you hold it on the right side, you can move it up and down. Remember now, the weather widget always has to be on top of the actual theme. So just remember that, and then just click Respring, and your theme will show up. Weather widget will show up. Uh, I might do a video on how to edit your VAR local. Because a lot of people have been having issues with that as well. So now let's go back into Cydia. Got to get good old SB settings. A lot of people have been using whatever the BB settings. I'm old school. I use SB settings. So let's search for it here. SB settings. Oops. Okay. Install it. Confirm it. If this thing would hurry up and download, for crying out loud. So now, let's restart the springboard. Now, in SB settings, I don't know about a lot of people, but they've been having issues when you go into SB settings. I'll show you here. I'm just going to turn off my Wi-Fi this way. So I'll just turn it off. Make sure it's off. Okay, it's off. Let's just click out of that. Now, in your SB settings, when you swipe left to right, it's going to bring down a drop down menu. Now, a lot of people with this respring button right here, you'll get the screen and it says restarting springboard and it doesn't do anything. It like completely locks up. Don't worry, just hold your home and power button completely till your phone shuts off. You'll see the white Apple logo right in the center, then release all the buttons. It will fix it. It's just I believe it's a bug that they're is you know, having issues with. Now, SB settings. If you're new to this, Here's your brightness. Easy, simple.
turn it down, turn it all the way up. Okay, Bluetooth, you can turn it on, you can turn it off, processes. You just kill everything right in through here without even having to do anything. You can free up memory. Um, location, you can turn on your location, your data, your 3G, you can turn all that on if you need it on. Or if you just want a quick toggle to turn it all off, let's say you're boarding an airplane, obviously airplane mode, pretty self-explanatory. Um, Wi-Fi, turn it on like that, don't do anything. Oh, Wi-Fi is on. No more going into settings, no more dinking around with it, no more doing any of that. Also, activator, show you real quick here, anywhere. I always do my status bar. A lot of people do it differently, but I always do it this way. So if I swipe left, it's my sleep button. Now if I swipe right, bring up my SB settings. Um, double tap, I have set as my home. And hold will be my remove backgrounder. And single tap will just be, I'll leave it blank because whenever I'm trying to refresh Twitter and go up to the top of the page, I hit my status bar and it goes all the way up. And then it closes itself out. So, just for an example, here's the status bar. We'll just double click the status bar. Goes right back to the home screen. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to where the battery's at. We'll just slide that way and it'll lock the device. So we'll turn it back on here. And then from here to here, we'll bring down SB settings. So, just a real quick brief tutorial on how to use two of the major things that everybody uses in Cydia. Um, we'll get removed backgrounder real quick here. Let's just cancel this, search for it. So, remove background. It's just a tweak. Install it. Confirm it. And all this stuff is free. So, if you're new to jailbreaking, it's all free insidia there is paid stuff that people have out there which should be paid for um, those tweaks certain little stuff like that but yeah once you get into it heavily then you can start buying stuff and adding stuff so now let's go into remove backgrounder I'll show you how to set this up real quick so okay exceptions doesn't really matter settings turn this off turn this on go back activator so now we're gonna go down to the status bar we're gonna click the hold so every time I hold so I double click there because I don't know about you guys but sometimes the good old home button sticks on an iPhone 4 especially so now we'll hold the status bar so now I'll just show you real quick here kinda what this all entails so we'll go into the clock double click out of the clock Go into reminders, double click out of that. Now, as you can see, if I double click my home button and bring up, there's all those right there. Now, instead of holding every single one of them, you can just remove backgrounder. Okay, now if I double click my home button again, they're not in there anymore, they're gone completely gone. It removes all your application that would be running in multitasking. So, I'll have another couple videos. Um, how to adjust themes, how to do var local, how to change some other stuff. Well, yeah, that's just a quick overview of SB settings, activator, and winter board.